Hello guys, I have this Innova 6100P. Uh, I'm gonna do a little test so I can show you the functions of this OVD2 scanner. First, find your OVD2 plug, plug it in. Once you found that, it's gonna start reading your vehicle. You just have to give it a second. Okay, once it's done, uh, it's gonna check for any faults. No power train, DTC or freeze frame data is presently stored in the vehicle's computer. So we're gonna press the S on this side. We're gonna have the global OVD2, press this arrow in the middle. It's gonna start scanning again for any codes. Nothing wrong with it. Press it again. We wanna check the ABS system. I now have some problems with this vehicle. Select vehicle. If you haven't selected, you have to select your vehicle and put uh, all the information. The vehicles uh, make your model. Is this your vehicle? Yes. Okay, we have few problems with the ABS system. The first one is gonna be the right rear wheel speed sensor. It's bad, I knew that. Same thing. Uh, the second one is gonna be right front outlet solenoid valve failure. And the third one is gonna be the ABS control unit failure. I have a lot of problems with the ABS because I put big brake kit on this vehicle. This is a 2000 Accord four cylinder and uh, I know these problems is because I have big break it. Okay, we press the S again. Let's check the SRS system. On the SRS, we have open or increased resistance in driver airbag inflator. I wonder why. I have a different steering wheel with no airbag. Uh, second one is gonna be open or increased resistance in driver airbag inflator, same thing. Third one is gonna be faulty from passenger seat belt buckle switch. We need to replace that on the passenger side. Okay, that's gonna be the OVD2 ABS SRS systems. So we know the problems on that. If we press the M on this side, it's gonna take you to the main menu and you have vehicle information, DLC locator, battery and alternator test, uh, driver cycle procedure, and you can reset the oil life. If we go down with this arrow, you can go to the whole menu. So we're gonna go to battery and alternator test. We're gonna check the battery. Okay, the vehicle must be prepared for battery test. Vehicle is now moving, transmission must be in park or neutral position. Okay, press the arrow in the middle. Turn your headlights on. And press this arrow to continue. Give it 20 seconds. Okay, turn off the headlight and press the arrow to continue. Now start the engine one time within 30 seconds. Battery test results is warning. Yeah, I know my battery is kind of old, so probably we we'll need to replace it uh, this upcoming winter. Press M for the main menu. Now let's check the alternator. The engine needs to be running. Start the engine and turn your headlights on. Okay. Press again the middle arrow. Increase the engine speed to 2000 RPM and hold it there for 20 seconds.
Okay. After 20 seconds, charging voltage within the specifications. So we go on that. Press the M. You can reset your oil life in case that you change the oil and you need to reset it. Go there, and it's gonna tell you you wanna reset it or not. Just press yes. Oil maintenance reset was not successful. Do you want to reset it by procedure? Okay. Let's do it again. On this vehicle, this is a 2000 Honda car, so it's kind of old. I just gonna tell me how to reset it. Ignition with ignition off. Press and hold the select reset button on the right side of your cluster. Turn turn on ignition button. Start the engine. We're still holding button for more than 10 seconds. This vehicle is kind of old, so it's not gonna reset it with the um, with the OVD2 scanner, but it's telling you the way to reset it. And I knew that you have to uh, press this little button in here and then holding it, turn the ignition on for more than 10 seconds, and it's gonna reset the light. I know in newer vehicles you can reset it with the scanner. I used to wear an AutoZone and this is the type of scans we use all the time. So I know how they work and how reliable and good they are. So I hope you like my little review guys on this 6100P Innova OBD2 scanner. Thank you.